Good afternoon, y'all. Well, I came out here to Tank to look at some medical stuff. I have to pick a provider. That's such a pain. But it's got to be done. Anyway, I was going to roll down the front windows. And what should I discover except that my battery is totally dead? Now, that is not a problem because I have roadside assistance. <laughs> And they're on their way. But, see, this is what happened. I can't imagine. I'm not driving him enough, I guess. And I'm using my house battery. I don't understand how all this works. But I thought that my house battery got charged when I was driving. And when I wasn't driving, it was not pulling off of my van battery. I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. But for some reason, um, my battery was dead. And so they're going to come and jump me, and I will drive around for a while and charge it back up. But I don't know. I don't really understand all this mess. It's aggravating to me. Anyway, I'll figure this stuff out when Van goes in to see the doctor on Monday. And this guy does automotive and RV, so he should be able to look at my house battery and the solenoid that's underneath my um, hood and tell me, I know it's, I know it, that it is not a manual turn it off and on thing because I've never done that. And there's no switch anywhere for it. So I guess I just haven't been driving him enough and I guess I have to start driving him more. We take my girlfriend's car every time we go to the doctor's office. So we may have to start taking tanks sometimes just so that he gets some exercise. But anyway, just a short little amusing thing. And another reason, ladies, why roadside assistance is so darned important. Talk to you later. Bye.